Okay, so this is the Fluke TI-30 thermal imager. To turn it on, what you do is you just flip the cover right there, and the screen will come on. Give it a second to load. And you can just hit mode, and you can get a basic reading. What here? What I'm looking at right here is this uh, battery charger coming out of a, a socket. Now I can manually focus it under here with this thing, and usually the farther to the left it gets blurrier, more to the right it will sharpen up. I want to change the emissivity, which is the emission that the battery charger is giving off, and I, you do so by hitting mode, and the E will light up, and you can go ahead and hit the up and down arrows to change it. Usually you want to work at is about 0.95 to, to 1. And then if you hit mode one more time, that's the reflection. And most people will work at negative 50 or so. Now, in here, this button right here will turn on a laser source. So you can point at the wall and know exactly what the center dot is looking at. I'll turn that off. Other features is um, centigrade or Fahrenheit right up there. Now, this is to change the, the color. You can use black and white thermal imagery. Um, and, but I'm just going to stick it to a regular color. Now, you can do manual focusing right here. This is automatic. This is semi automatic in the middle. And then manual. Manual, you'll use these two buttons up here to turn and determine what kind of image you want to get. Let's say I want right about there, and I got a 80 degree reading off of that. And then all I gotta do is click the trigger and snap a shot there, and I can later load that up to the computer software.